The universe just changed its mind about dying. For 27 years, we've known how the universe will end. In 1998, scientists discovered the expansion of space is accelerating. Dark energy is tearing everything apart, pushing galaxies further away. Eventually, the night sky will go dark. Forever. This groundbreaking discovery won the Nobel Prize. It was settled science. Until last week. Researchers at Yonsei University found something disturbing. We've used exploding stars called Type I supernovae as cosmic measuring sticks. They're supposed to be identical, perfect for measuring distance. But they're not identical. They're biased by the age of their host stars. When you correct for this bias, the data doesn't show acceleration anymore. The universe isn't accelerating. It's decelerating. Dark energy isn't constant. It's weakening, losing its grip. The expansion is slowing down, a profound shift. The fate we predicted, the heat death, might not happen. We've been reading the universe's story wrong for 27 years, misinterpreting cosmic signals. This could solve the Hubble tension, where different measurements of the universe's expansion don't match. It could explain why our cosmological models keep breaking down, but it also means we have no idea what happens next. Is the expansion slowing enough to reverse? Could the universe eventually collapse back on itself? A big crunch instead of heat death? The end of everything just became unpredictable, opening up new possibilities for the cosmos. 27 years, a Nobel Prize, settled science, all based on a measurement error. What else are we getting wrong about reality? If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science.